All right, we want to go back to this. When you return from your holiday road trip, you may want to use some caution. That's because with the new year comes more than 300 new laws in the state of Illinois, and many could have an impact on how you get around. Lance Northcutt is back with us. He's a partner at Salvi Shostock and Pritchard Law Firm to talk about these new laws uh, before we get behind the wheel on January 1st. Lance, what's the uh, number one thing we need to know? The number one thing you need to know is stay off your phone. One of the big changes they have this year is it's strengthening some of the laws that outlaw use of a cell phone. And one of the things that is particularly dangerous are situations where you see people on a, you know, a video conference or trying to FaceTime live and they're driving at the same time. That is now explicitly in the statute and that is illegal and that can't be done. The only exception would be if you can activate it using one touch or hands free. So uh, an audio conference that would presumably be permissible under the new statute, but anything where you're trying to drive and, and video chat at the same time could get you in a whole lot of trouble. Hmm. You know, Lance, one thing that we talk about on the news here all the time are the car thefts that have simply exploded in the Chicagoland area. Can you talk about the vehicle theft hotline and what that means for motorists in our state? This is really kind of an innovative and I think a really critical component of stopping and investigating and apprehending car thieves into the future, something I'm unfortunately painfully familiar with out of personal experience. There's now a hotline that law enforcement will be able to access that pulls together the resources of manufacturers, dealers, uh, folks that would have immediate access to data about vehicle location. And most of the vehicles that are coming out now have some sort of ability to be tracked, whether it's GPS, through apps, through things like that built into the car. Sometimes external security systems are installed where their car can be tracked anywhere on the globe. And having quick access to that for law enforcement can mean the difference of not only recovering a stolen vehicle, but as we're seeing a lot of these violent crimes that are being committed with stolen vehicles, it really can sometimes even prevent great harm, robberies, or even save lives. So this is an innovative and important change of the laws in Illinois this year. We understand there's another change to the uh, Drug or Alcohol Impaired Responsibility Act on January 1st. Can you run us through that? Yes. Like a lot of states, Illinois doesn't have a lot in the way of social host liability. One of the exceptions has been for a number of years situations where an adult, particularly a parent, provides alcohol or illegal drugs to minors and then someone is injured. Under Illinois law to this point, that injured person or the family of that injured person, if the person is a minor or deceased, would be allowed to bring a lawsuit for damages and in certain situations even recover punitive damages or attorney's fees. Well, that law has expanded now even more. And so apart from just an adult who provides alcohol to a minor, if a person, an adult, provides any type of premises, whether it's a house, a car, some sort of facility that they either own or control, and they allow alcohol or drugs to be given to a minor, that person could be rendered liable. So when we think about being a gracious host, I think the caution here is you can't be a gracious host if what you're hosting is a drug and alcohol party for kids. Ooh. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you breaking down just some of those laws that come on the books January 1st. Attorney Lance Northcutt, thank you so much for being with us and happy holidays to you. Thank you. Happy holidays, folks. All right.